Hi guys. Um, yeah, I haven't been around for a while. It's so all late, basically. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, okay, I need to say I've actually been offline. I logged out of the account. Um, I dealt with something that has had a real negative um, effect on me. Um, but I, I don't want to go too much into that because, uh, yeah, it's it's kind of private and oh, man, this is hard. Um, is it to do with the organisation? Uh, and what I'm passionate about, yes, but. No, I, I don't want to disclose information on this person, but yeah, it's totally shot me to the core. Um, sorry about my appearance, by the way, but at the moment, that's the least of my worries. Okay, um, in regards to my neck, um, I'm going to include some photos as well. Oh, let me just tell you, last night, sleep, <laughs> what sleep? Um... Oh man, I can put any pressure on it whatsoever. I couldn't get comfy. I it was just absolutely throbbing my my neck. You you might have seen posts on it. Well, today, um, desperation got the best of me, and what I did, I I sat there with boiling hot water, just put in, um, trying trying to open up the pores a wee bit. Believe me, it was uncomfortable. It really hurt. Um, so I, I was just trying to soften it up. And yeah, it did. It was a bit more playable, I think it's called. Squidgy. Not not as hard anymore. Um, and then I, I sterilised the pin. As I said, guys, I know... If I, it was obviously infected and I didn't want to cause more infection, but believe me, I am at my wit's end. I've tried every cream possible. Um, so I got the pin. I sterilized the area with antiseptic soap. Um, I even put hand sanitizer on, which, oh man, not recommended. Uh... And I, I got the pin, and because of my shaky hands, thank you hands, um, it kind of wobbled, and it must have pressed the shiny bit in the centre, and next minute it released. Yeah, if you've ever had an infection um, from a bite, a boil, and then grown hair, I don't have to explain and give you the gory details. Even though the screenshots of it, um, but yeah, it's it's done. I'm not out of the woods yet because I reckon there's still a lot of infection there. With the with the piercing, it's that small. It just keeps on stopping. Then you've got to apply pressure and squeeze it a bit more. I know it's got to the point where I've not myself sick and I'm lightheaded and dizzy. So anyway, I've got some stuff out and then now on it, I've put several on there and some self-adhesive dressing and um, fingers crossed there that it's high absorbency that will withdraw some more infection out of it. Or I might have to use a pin again, I don't know. Um, but it's got the dressing on, like I said. Uh, I can lay down now. It is, oh, what a relief, but still not out of the woods. Because I've been playing around with it. It's angry and sore. Um, so I'll assess it later on when all the swelling and all the redness has gone down. But... You know what, guys? It's late. You know? People see me on the outside, full of smiles, as I said, lip, lip gloss is a great cover-up. Um, 
and you see me trying to be as normal as normal can be. I lie every day to convince you and also I'm stubborn, which I have said repeatedly times. But believe me, just because I put on the front, it doesn't mean that I don't feel pain every day. Um, you know, I the medication I take, 21 tablets a day, morphine based, they help. They get me into a position that's when I'm stable and I can be in control most of the time. But no guys, you still feel like the tingling down your arm, the constant numbness in your fingertips, plus now... I'm crippled with arthritis in my right foot. I've had many breaks of toes and um yeah, this cold weather is not helping me whatsoever. I've I've actually if I don't wear the sock to keep my foot warm, then um yeah, I'm I'm in trouble. Um so I walk around with two socks on that foot just to keep it constantly warm. But um like I said guys, it's it sucks. It's just like my neck, my arthritis. Sometimes I feel like I'm falling apart. Um, and it's like, please, I'm. You know, the the cavernoma is bad enough that causing the stroke and the hemorrhage. This is not a pity uh, video as well, please, guys. I yeah, I'm I'm just being real and telling you how it is. But like, you know. All the crap that went down with the first cavernoma, then you got a second, then you got a third, then you lose your license due to seizures. And it's like, okay, fine, my diagnosis is cavernoma. Great. That's been part of my life now for what's, I don't know, seven years, 2013 in December it happened. <clears throat> so, wow, well, that's coming up to eight years. Um... But it's, it, my neck, it's just another issue that I don't need, you know? Okay, it's a distraction. It takes away from my daily pain. Um, But it's something that I don't need. And then... Sometimes with my friends and my family, all that I do is, um, you know, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Uh... And, guys, seriously, there is not a day that goes by that I have got pain from one form or the other. My head, my arm, yeah. Um, even my fall, like, two weeks ago. I've now got a nice scar. I'll have to wait until a few layers of skin peel. Like, it, well, it did with that big one that I've got down my face, even though that's still some of the old scar, but that's... My recent battle scars. Um <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm stubborn. I try and be as normal as I can be, and I'm also stubborn in terms of I'm not gonna let pain defeat me. I really won't. But hopefully <clears throat> in terms of my neck, um it's yeah. <sighs> it's it's gonna settle down now and just get better. I just need to make sure that my hands are always clean if I touch it. I change the dressing regularly. And it sounds like I've had an operation. I basically have had an operation on my neck. Um. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, like... Sometimes I'm only human and if I disappear... I'm doing the project. I am helping someone that that needs it. Um or I'm dealing with my own stuff. Um and yeah, it's like I say I don't care about me, but like people have said at the end of the day, you've got to look after number one. And <laughs> that's exactly what I'm doing and that's why I take time off. But yeah, I have actually been logged out of Cavanoma Scotland. Um I wanted to say something then, but I don't know what it is now. I am so confused. I'm just totally not with it, guys. Oh yeah, look look after number one. Guys, I can't help you out unless I'm okay. And uh and another thing, the coronavirus, it's not me for six. 
I, I think my life has drastically changed and it's frustrating me every day that I can't do what I want to do. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I'll, I'll be back soon anyway. Guys, I love you so much. I appreciate your support all the time. You say the kindest words to me and words of encouragement and... I really have got the best supporters. Um, right, okay, guys. And, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. You know, I, I'm sitting here moaning, and um, I know there's tons of people out there that are in far worse situations than me. You know, my pain will go back to a controllable level. This thing on my neck will eventually cease and go away. Um, arthritis, yeah, that's to stay. But, um, yeah. Just everybody take care, stay safe, remember I love you and um, you are like all a big part of my life. When I say I support you, yes I do. I'm constantly thinking about the organisation when I'm not attending to it. I'm constantly thinking about you guys. <clears throat> and there you go. Oh, we will be having a giveaway in Easter as well. Christmas never happened. More complications. Valentine's Day, yeah, probably more complications, yeah, it was actually, um, but no, and also we've got Brain Awareness Week coming up in in March, mid-March I think, don't quote me on the date, I, I'll, yeah, I think it's the 11th to the 17th, but yeah. Okay, guys, I love you so much. You take care. Stay safe. Um, bye for now, okay? Bye. Love you.